Hi, my name is Emily Sanballon. I am the Director of Undergraduate Programs in the School of Engineering and Computer Science. Hi everyone, my name is Kelly Gould and I'm the Coordinator of New Student Recruitment in the School of Engineering and Computer Science. Kelly and I are really excited to be with you all today and share a little bit more about the School of Engineering and Computer Science and all that we have to offer here. Kelly's going to start off and share a little bit about our degree programs. Thanks, Emily. I would love to share more about our degrees. I'm going to start on the computer science side and for more information you can also find our degrees and flowcharts on our website. So starting out with computer science we have three degree options. Our first option is the Bachelor of Science in Computer Science and this has a major called computer science which is our standard major and students can also choose to specialize in software engineering which is another concentration option. Our second degree is our Bachelor of Science in computing and this is a major called computer science fellows and this really is an honors feel so students are actually creating their own degree program with a faculty member and doing research uh, students in this program are typically looking at graduate school our third degree option is our bachelor of science in informatics this degree has two majors the first major is called bioinformatics and this is really a unique major and Baylor is one of the first schools to have this major at the undergraduate level essentially students are double majoring in biology and computer science with an almost minor in chemistry this major is really unique in that students are looking at a lot of different options a lot of our students are going into medical school after Baylor and some students are looking into more research options and some will even just go into computer science jobs when they're done. Our second major option is data science and this is our newest major in computer science and we are really excited about this major specifically and that it really prepares students for jobs in data management, data analysis, cloud computing. This is an interdisciplinary major so students will take classes in math, statistics, computing, and much more. This major also has a required minor in the curriculum, so you can choose something that really interests you. That's a little bit about computer science. I'm gonna go ahead and move forward into engineering. We have three main degrees within our engineering school. So the first one is our Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering. Mechanical Engineering is really looking at designing and manufacturing everything from small devices to large parts. So students in mechanical engineering have a lot of overlap with a lot of fields, including civil engineering, petroleum engineering, chemical engineering, industrial engineering, and so much more. Mechanical engineering really is a foundational major for a lot of other industries. Electrical and computer engineering really is a unique field in that we call it invisible engineering. It really looks at the study of electricity, electronics, and electromagnetism. And there's a lot of subfields like telecommunications, radio frequency, power electronics, power engineering. All of those fields are subsets of electrical and computer engineering. So it's really a unique option within our school. A lot of our students in electrical and computer engineering are also interested in maybe doing a computer science minor. So that's a really great option for students who want to add that minor or really specialize in those programming classes. Our third option is our Bachelor of Science in Engineering. And this degree program really is for students who know that end goal in mind. Maybe it's a very specific end goal. Maybe you're a student who's interested in going to medical school, maybe going to law school, or maybe going into graduate school. And then some students maybe have a very specific type of engineering they're wanting to study. So for example, we have two options within this degree. One is to get a minor and the other is to choose a concentration. So for students who choose a minor, it could be that maybe you're interested in business and maybe managing engineers one day or going into an MBA later on. So getting a business minor might be really helpful for you. It could be that you're really looking into law school to be a patent attorney and you really need that technical engineering background. Uh, but you could choose a minor like our legal reasoning and analysis minor to help prepare you for law school. We also have four concentration options. So students may choose a specialization within a specific type of engineering. Our most popular is definitely our biomedical concentration. And this really is for students interested in applying engineering into the medical field. Uh, so thinking about designing prosthetics or medical devices or small devices like pacemakers. So it really is looking at those intersections of engineering in the health fields. Another concentration is GeoPetro, and this is really the geology side of petroleum engineering. We have one in environmental science, which is really for students who are looking at using those engineering technologies to solve environmental problems. 
And then last but not least is our humanitarian concentration. And this one is really unique to Baylor, I think. Um, it's for students who are really passionate about bringing engineering technologies into underserved communities. So again, just to recap, we have three main degrees in engineering. Our Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering, our Bachelor of Science in Electrical and Computer Engineering, and our Bachelor of Science in Engineering. So no matter what you choose, um, you're going to have a great experience, but just to let you know, if you don't know which major you want to pursue, all of our students will start in what's called pre-engineering. And this is just a designation for our first year students as you meet our progression requirements. All right, I'm going to turn things over to Emily Sandball, and she's going to talk more about really what makes Baylor stand out among other schools. Thanks, Kelly. Well, I want to talk through some of the distinctive aspects of our program, the School of Engineering and Computer Science, because we know that you are trying to parse out what makes us a little bit different. Um, so I want to talk through some of those. The first aspect I want to talk about is our Christian commitment. It's something that's really important to us at Baylor and is central to our mission here. The integration of faith and learning is something that you'll find in the classroom and makes our education really unique. This could look a variety of different ways while you're here. Your faculty member could open class in prayer or maybe invite you to a Bible study during the week. And that's what makes our community really special. The second aspect I want to talk about is our close-knit community. The School of Engineering and Computer Science has around 900 students. That small size lends itself to small class sizes and lab sizes. You get to know your faculty really well and as well as your fellow students. Student organizations are a great way that students can complement what they're learning inside the classroom, outside the classroom. So as a student, when you get involved, you can connect with professional development um, organizations, service organizations competition organizations. This is all of something that you can be a part of in the Baylor and Waco communities. For a complete listing of our student organizations, please visit our website. Another great distinctive of our program is our world-class faculty. Faculty at Baylor are really committed to student success. And what our students tell us all the time, we ask our graduating seniors, what was your favorite part of your Baylor experience? And they always say it was the relationships that they formed with their faculty. We have a diverse array of faculty as well. And so as a student here, you get to interact with some faculty members that maybe are steeped in research and you get to be a part of that. Or maybe they are coming back from industry and you get to learn from them what they learned in industry. So a wide variety of experiences that you get to interact with here. Well, undergraduate research is a great way to get experience outside the classroom and can really complement what you're doing inside the classroom. It's also a great resume booster. Our faculty really want to see students get involved in their labs, and so they're gonna be seeking out students to help them with their work there. So the way that students get connected with those opportunities is really through approaching their faculty member either after class or during office hours, but it's really easy to get connected. Most of our research labs are are located at the BRIC, which stands for the Baylor Research and Innovation Collaborative. This is a collaboration between Baylor, Texas State Technical College, the City of Waco, and several local industry partners, and that's where our faculty conduct their research. Teal Residential College is our living learning program associated with the School of Engineering and Computer Science. So this is for all classifications of students, freshman through senior year. And what we love about it is that students, when they belong to that community, they get to know people of all classifications. Really neat mentoring opportunities happen and community is built within the major. And what we've seen from students that live there is that they have higher GPAs, their success in the major is a lot higher. So it's a great community to be a part of and a great housing option for students. In the School of Engineering and Computer Science, we take a really strategic approach to the job and internship process. We have our own career center professionals that work with our students. So these two professionals work with students on resume writing, they connect with the companies that hire our students, they do career coaching, they're really there to serve as a resource for our students. We have a strategic process in the School of Engineering and Computer Science that meets students where they're at along the journey in college. So their freshman year, we're delivering freshman specific information and along the way so that they're getting connected to internships, which hopefully eventually lead to jobs. Our average placement rate in the School of Engineering and Computer Science is around 86%. 
our average starting salary is over $80,000. So our students are getting connected right away. What's really great about those career center professionals is they're helping students even after graduation get connected to jobs and opportunities. What we hear from companies that hire our students is that they love getting our students. They're well-rounded. They know what they're talking about technically, and then they have the leadership skills, the soft skills, the presentation skills to lead well in their companies. To hear a story about one of our alums, we want you to check out Ryan Malone's video to see what he's doing at BP. Thank you, Emily, so much for sharing more about what makes Baylor stand out among all the other schools. And what we hear more and more from our students is that they really feel deeply connected here at our Baylor community and that Baylor cares about their success here at Baylor, but also beyond Baylor. Thanks for being with us today and we can't wait to see you in person soon.